കൂടാ പെട്ടെന്ന് ചെയ്താൽ ഉടനെ അടുത്ത പടി തരാം ആ അത് വേണ്ട അത് വേണ്ട എനിക്കും അടുത്ത മുതലാളി ഐ ആം ടേക്കിംഗ് സെബാറ്റിക്കൽ What do you mean by the phrase to take a sabbatical? According to the Jewish and Christian traditions, Adam and Eve were the first man and woman created by God. God created heavens and the earth in six days and then rested and blessed the seventh day. This day is known as Sabbath. The believers are not supposed to work on this day. This is a day of rest and for praying to the Lord. The term is also a part of the agricultural system where the people in the land of Israel were directed by the God to take rest for a year after tilling the land for six years. The word sabbatical hence means an extended leave taken by a person. This leave from work could be for spending time with one's family or to develop one's knowledge or skills. For example, I am under a lot of pressure sardar ji I am taking a sabbatical Which day is the sabbath is it saturday or sunday Why do people observe it on different days First we need to have an agreement as to what constitutes a day At present we consider a day as starting from sunrise to sunset or to be specific as beginning from 12 am and ending at 12 pm according to the hebrew tradition the day starts and ends at nightfall for example the hebrew day that we call as tuesday will start from the sunset which is the earliest possible time which can be considered as night so it will begin with the sunset of monday and end with the sunset of tuesday So Sabbath will be on the seventh day, which is from the sunset of Friday to the sunset of Saturday. However, in the case of Sab- Sabbath, the small change: the day does not really end with the sunset, but when three stars are seen in the night sky. This usually happens hours after we witness sunset. So, as per the Jewish system, the Sabbath is on Saturday. Some Christian believers also observe Sabbath on Saturday. For instance, the Seventh Day Adventist Church keeps the Sabbath from sundown on Friday to sundown on Saturday. So, why do some Christian groups observe Sabbath on Sundays? There are plenty of reasons stated as to how, when, or why Sunday was chosen as the day of Sabbath by some Christian groups. This is a very tricky topic. Uh, I shall mention some of the arguments I got from the internet with regard to the matter. With the resurrection of Jesus on the first day of the week, that is Sunday, the importance of Sunday as the Lord's day became established for the Christians. The resurrection of Jesus is now observed as Easter and it falls on a Sunday. Hence, some Christians began to observe both the 7th day, that is Saturday, and the first day of the week sunday as holy there is also an argument that the christians chose sunday as the day of sabbath as it was chosen by the apostles based on scriptures some say this decision was taken by the council of laodicea around 363 ce some believe that the sabbath was given by god to the land of israel to remind them of their slavery in egypt and how god saved them hence the christians were no longer bound by the jewish traditions and laws another argument is that the christians chose sunday as a compromise with the roman system which already had sunday as the day of rest the romans were in power and were observing sunday as the day of rest and to worship their gods they were believers of mithraism a form of sun worship The Romans were controlling much of Europe, Asia Minor and important places like Jerusalem. The Romans observed the day from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. just like we do today. The Jews and the Christians were often harassed by the Roman emperors for following their respective faiths. 
This went on till 312 CE when Roman when Rome witnessed a major shift in power. What happened? Constantine was fighting his brother-in-law Maxentius in the battle of Milvian Bridge. Suffering and the reality of death can make people see some really strange things. So was the case with Constantine. During the battle, Constantine is said to have had a vision of the Christian God who is believed to have blessed him. Some accounts say he cho- he saw a cross in the sky and some say it was in his dream. Nevertheless, Constantine wins and is declared the emperor of Rome. He legalized Christianity through the edict of Milan and also declared Sunday as a civil rest day for all Roman citizens. Though he did not use the word sabbath, the Roman emperor thus legalized the observance of Sunday as a day of rest and worship. Constantine when he was about to die converted to Christianity. The leader of the most powerful empire in the world chose Christianity. This seriously shifted the balance of power in favor of Christianity over Judaism. The rest as they say is history. Next we look at another popular phrase fall of man. According to Christianity God asked Adam and Eve to live in the garden of Eden and bless them with free will. So Adam and Eve were free to eat the fruits of the garden. There were two special trees amidst them. One was the tree of life and the other the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God forbade Adam and Eve from eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. We don't find any reference as to whether God forbade them from eating from the tree of life. Now another word which came to be associated with the garden of eden has etymological connections to various indo-european languages this word has hence come to mean garden orchard royal park or a walled enclosure or a plantation in various languages this word now means a place of great happiness peace and prosperity this is paradise lucifer was an angel the son of god who was the brightest and the most beautiful of god's creations the word lucifer means light bringer unfortunately he was not satisfied with his position as god's assistant and he tried to challenge god the word satan satan means adversary or someone who opposes lucifer came to be known as satan after this incident and the following war with other angels satan is defeated and wants revenge he goes to the garden of eden or paradise to corrupt mankind and to spoil god's plans the he sees eve and transforms into a serpent tempting her to eat from the tree of knowledge she falls into the trap and with adam eats the fruit of the tree which was forbidden by god now was the forbidden fruit apple we don't know since the bible does not mention which fruit it was we now use the phrase forbidden fruit to refer to the pleasurable things which must not be wished for or things which are not rightfully ours adam and eve eat the fruit and realize they are naked and feel ashamed until then they were in a state of pure existence full of innocence they were dis- they were designed by god to be not able to sin this act of disobedience by adam and eve when they ate the forbidden fruit causes the fall of man they were now in a state of guilty disobedience as a result of this act of sinning the original sin original sin is this sin committed by adam and eve by disobeying god's uh, command through this act the entire humanity is condemned as per the christian belief 
to be born into a state of sin. God gets angry as his experiment of giving free will to humans has gone south. That is, it has failed. He informs Adam that he won't get any free fruits from here on and will have to earn his food by working until the day he dies. They are banished from the Garden of Eden. It is also believed that they are banished from paradise so that they don't get any new ideas and try out the fruit from the tree of life which could make them immortals and spoil God's plans further. Paradise Lost by John Milton is an epic poem which narrates how these events unfold. God sends Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden. God tells Adam, By the sweat of your bro, will you have food to eat until you return to the ground from which you were made. For you were made from dust and to dust you will return. This means that Adam will have to earn his food or reward by working for it. No more free food for you, dear Adam. The phrase by the sweat of your bro thus refers to the hard work which needs to be done to get results. You have to earn your bread by working for it. Example, so Mr. Rabanan, you have to earn your boat by the sweat of your bro.